the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that it is not power or authority, not wealth or seats of honor that will bring us closer to him. It is being servants to one another. Only in true and honest service to one another will we obtain Christ's favor. Today we also celebrate Sunday for Cultures. May we respect each culture by keeping in mind that the spiritual and social character of human beings has a constant need of a just liberty in order to flourish. So my sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries of God's unfathomable love for all of us, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, 
You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life. And the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit, one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it's, for those for who, but it's for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> sisters and brothers, 
This thing that James and John asks Jesus, grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right hand and the other at your left, that sounds familiar. Parang mas maganda sa Pinoy. Lord, paghari na kayo ha. Baka naman pwedeng second in command kaming dalawa sa iyo, Lord. That sounds familiar because in today's lingo, di ba yan yung tinatawag na epal? When the ten heard this, the gospel says, they became indignant with James and John. We can judge from that reaction na epalan sila sa dalawa. Epal is short for pumapapel. It also sounds like kapal, as in kapal ng mukha. Brazen, presumptuous, shameless. The apostles should be the least you would expect to be such power mongers. But there you go. Only goes to show, sisters and brothers, that even people closest to the Lord back in the day were also given to Epal. But did you notice Jesus' comeback? Instantaneous, brusque, and grave. Hindi nyo alam ang sinasabi ninyo. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized as I will be baptized? Cup, sisters and brothers, meant cup of suffering. Baptism meant submersion into darkness and death. Sit at my right hand and my left. In my glory, you haven't the faintest idea of what you're saying. You could almost hear Jesus think. But maybe James and John were just being facetious. Yung may malang. Maybe. But even then, Jesus did not let this slip. He had always taken issue with power-mongering, the exact opposite of the kind of kingdom he was living out all this time. You want to be masters? Maglingkod kayo. You want to be first? Dun tayo sa likod. Maglingkod sa likod. Jesus' strange advocacy he called the kingdom of God. Maglingkod sa likod. But after all this time, his friend still did not get it. Sisters and brothers, you and I are familiar with how power changes its wielders and often changes many of them for the worse. What draws me this time, though, is something that I've observed among the powerful. Some of them don't want to let go even when it's time to. I've seen this in government, in schools, in in departments in schools, in organizations, And sadly, also in parishes, dioceses, and religious orders. Many power wielders, even when it's time to, cannot let go and will not. After being masters of others, you'd think that they would have mastered themselves so they could step down in grateful serenity. But whether it's a president or a director or a chair whether it's a pastor or superior or his advisor, they rage, rage against the dying of the light, as Dylan Thomas would say. How do they rage? Well, they wire various devices so they can stay up on the radar screen of command. For example, presidents lobby for their guy, their manok, to replace them, someone beholden to them, someone they can slap around to continue their agenda. An outgoing Cura Parroco, for example, keeps the list of benefactors to himself. A replaced department chair continues to order around the secretaries, the drivers, the custodians, at kapag kailangan na sila ng bagong boss, hindi sila mahagila. A retiring counselor or advisor cozies up to the new boss, makes the boss dependent on him more and more, and badmouths his enemies to him while he sells him his agenda. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. This infects both the irreligious and the religious, the best and the worst of us. Kaya naman siguro ganyan ang sagot ni Jesus kina Santiago at Juan. Pabalang, prangka at brusco. The Lord knew not only that power changed people, 
it made them desperately hang on, bite without letting go. This was precisely not the kingdom Jesus was showing all this time. And worse, this desperation for power was exactly what he wanted all of us to be free from. And the key word is free because people who cannot and will not let go of power, they are the unfreest people in the world. And also the most terrified. I wish you had met Father Nico, sisters and brothers. He was our former superior general. When his term was over, Father Nico spent part of his retirement with us in Arupe House. Absolutely no attachment to power, this man. So happy to be back to ordinary Jesuit community life, he radiated with it. He lobbied for no one, curried no favors, harbored no lists, hooked no loyalties, settled no scores. Father Nico was a man of deep interior freedom, a sweet old Lolo that you'd never think was successor to St. Ignatius. That's how I think about generals anyway. From his seat in Rome, Father Nico came right back, home to friends. See, sisters and brothers, that's another thing that I've noticed. Attached, people who are attached to power are terrified of coming back. Yes, they need to stay within whispering distance of the powerful, but chances are they've also heard too many people back home and face recrimination. But Father Nico and people like him, oh, their friends couldn't wait till they came back. Came back down, back on the ground, where stood the rest of them with their arms wide open. Only the brave let go of power when it's time. Cowards hang on. If I may, a shout out to you who are terrified of letting go. Sir, ma'am, padre, sister, it's time for the higher power. Enough of yours. It was the higher power who put you there in the first place. And he's the one who's calling you back. It's time. It's time to be free. Time to be with friends and family again. To live simply. To walk around without looking over your shoulder all the time. To sleep with both eyes closed. If truly you are the brave man or woman you always show you are, then prove you're no coward by stepping down and being servant and being the least of all, maglingkod sa likod. And it's not a lonely place. The rest of us are here. And Jesus is with us, down here. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the love of the world to come. Amen. With humility and trust, O Lord, we confidently approach you and ask you to hear our prayers. Let our response be, Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. May Pope Francis, Honesto our Bishop, the clergy and all who exercise authority in the Church, foster kindness to sustain them in their call to humble service, we pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May all who hold public office promote unity to bring peace and reconciliation in our land that has witnessed social, cultural, religious, and moral upheavals, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. May the spirit of fortitude encourage all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19 as they minister to those who are suffering, we pray. Loving Father, Father listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. May we as brothers and sisters in Christ show compassion and kindness to all, especially to those who are gravely affected by the pandemic, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. We ask, O Lord, to show your mercy and compassion to our sick brothers and sisters and to bring light to our beloved dead, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. For those celebrating their birthdays, especially Bobby Lavinia, Meg Belen, Orlando Butch Adino, Chino Cruz, Manny Engwa, Nika Cruz, Julian Vergara, Bebots Navarro, Johan De Assis, Natalie Chio, Dino Halandoni, Sister Jelly Lumaad, Nori Malazarte, Ador Dionisio, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. For the healing of Dina Reyes, Dante David, and family, Mary Tan, Erlinda Lim, Normita Paulino, Ramon Felia Jr., Meli Lantin, and Manny Almagro, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. For the repose of the souls of Honorata and Felipe Ambrosio, Benny Tan, Eduardo Concepcion, Jose Radames Ocampo, Deli Neri, Adelaida Lombos, Lito Cruz, Edmund Go, Rizalina Makapagal, Renato Makapagal, Christine Balingit, Sister Carmen, Daughters of Charity, Purita Acevedo, Robert Olinares, Kat Limcanco, Leticia Lumibao, Maria and Judy Hoven, Teresita Guanson, Richie Fernando of the Society of Jesus, Christine Vasquez, Charles Edita and Maria Consuelo Colanag, and Emerita and Floro Castor, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father listen, here, to listen to our prayers. prayers. For the special intentions of J.P. Carino, Carol Tianco, Gino, Marla, and Marga, Hill and Lilia Silao, Nilo and Noli Viado, Jean Afable and family, Susie Lou, Lizzie and Cecil, and Sister Nenita Leonardo and Sisters of St. Paul de Chartres, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. And for all the intentions you have sent to Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen, listen to, to our, our prayers. prayers. We also pray for our country in this coming elections. May the winners be thwarted by the Spirit if they ever abuse their power, and may they graciously step down when it's time to. For this we pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, listen to, to our prayers. prayers. Please take a few moments of silence to pray for your intentions in this Mass. Father, you are gracious and merciful to all. Hear us as we call upon you today. Do not look on the wrong that we have done, but in your mercy, look on our humble and pleading hearts. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries that we serve. This we ask to Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one community by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially those watching from their homes, and bring us all to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, and Esther, our Bishop, and all the men and women who minister to you, lay and religious alike. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may ch be children of eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, my sisters and brothers, with deep tenderness and faith, we call on God, our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear sisters and brothers, behold, the gentle Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, how blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. This we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease 
and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made children with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and the people you love, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love one another and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Message of compassion to all.